He's, he means business. So beautiful. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Oh. And staying today, we have a ritual to perform, you and I. Oh. Be gentle, please. Our essential body. Oh, little baby. Oh. Here. Wear this. It belonged <laughs> to my daughter. Oh, foster kid. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? <laughs> the sensual gods, they await us. Yeah, this this is such a nice looking game right off the bat, guys. Normally, it would be the mother who declares. If you had one, the whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation. Beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. What the fuck? What in the name of the lords of sensuality? Those the beast. It is one thing to hunt a beast. Another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. Oh, little baby's like, oh, so pretty. <laughs> this game is, is like the graphics are just 10 out of 10. I would imagine on PlayStation Pro it looks even better. Damn, we went a long way. Hi, Matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? She should welcome us. We are the chosen one. Big Mamacita? Old Mamacita. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And <laughs> she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! Oh. Lion King reborn. And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, 
blessing its name like it was one I of the I know Nora, my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow. Aww. Get this old lady, other old lady out of here. I'll spank you, lady. Alright? I'll spank you with your spear. The Quahione is still. Who's her mommy? Who's her papa? And what's her, her purpose in the world? Horizon! Cyrodon! Oh, what an introduction, guys. What an introduction. Damn. Now, obviously, I haven't done my, my you know, usual intro, but you guys already know I'm the sensual beast. And we're going to be starting this brand new, delicious, tasty, very plumpy walkthrough of, of course, Horizon Cyrodon. And man, this game looks just, it's crazy. Because it's, it's a PlayStation exclusive, I always just expect the best from, you know, big PlayStation exclusives. Um, you know, obviously Uncharted is one of the big ones, but this game so far from what I've seen online has gotten a lot of good reviews. And uh, I'm just excited to play. I mean, it, it was announced, I believe, two E3s ago or one E3 ago. And so, you know, ever since my, my body has been tingling inside, I've been very curious. I've been kind of honestly been staying away from any kind of like trailers and gameplay trailers. I feel like, even because I didn't, I don't know the game so much. I mean, nobody really did because it's a brand new IP. But I feel like every time I stay away from, you know, as much content from a game that even though I'm excited for, because I haven't played previous ones, I'm not like hyped for it until I play it, of course. Um, but I feel like that gives me a little bit of advantage and more excitement when the game actually comes out and I really do enjoy it. So this game kind of has that effect for me. I, I mean, I have stayed away from, even though I've been looking forward to it, I've just kind of stayed away from, you know, trailers and gameplay stuff, just to kind of, you know, come into it fresh and uh, my body is ready. The sensual gods have given us juice. We're going to start a brand new game. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the walkthrough. Let's get tickling. All right, so we're going to do, let's see, easy, normal. You guys already know, we... We, for the last couple of walkthroughs that we've done for different games, we've gone, you know, above the, the Call of Duty, the Call of Booty. So instead of going too easy or normal or, you know, hard, we're gonna go very hard. Wait, I go hard. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna just go hard. We keep, we're gonna keep it challenging, but my my uh, sensual body will not be completely fisted. Alright, now let's get into it. Six years later. Oh, she's got a, she's got a lot of bump in the back. She's she using a bump it. <laughs> Aloe is uh, probably like six, seven. Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more. Hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. Oh no, why 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 you gotta be a bumhole about it? She's an outcast to be shunned. Rude. There. Oh come on. What the fuck? <coughs> How dare they call me an outcast? I'm a sensual beast, damn it. Rost! Down here! Rost! Rost! He won't hear me. No. Some kind of cave? A gift from the past. Right, here we go guys go into the cave Ugh, there were rats down here <laughs> probably and other creatures hopefully smaller than rats and not bigger can't climb out wow dude, this game looks just so juicy the graphics are so juicy 
Oh goodness, there are rats. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. I thought she was just, you know, saying like, oh, there probably is rats down here. No, nope, there's definitely rats over there. All right, well, you guys already know, this is an exploring kind of game. I love my exploring, so we're going to just look around a little bit, see what we can find. I feel at this point in the game, we're not going to find much. Our bodies are not ready to, to be hunters yet, but in, in due time. Oh, no. Ah! Batman. <laughs> they kind of remind me a little bit of the, uh, you know, the Batman kind of mythos, how he falls into the cave, the bats come out. Oh, in this case, it's rats and bats. Looks tight, but I can get through. All right, press square to toggle crouch. Oh, that's strange. I'm so used to like circle being the crouch button. Is this the same? Ah! Okay, mother of pearl, come down, bat. Is it the same path? Yeah, just leads to the same, the same place. All right. Oh, well, here we go, guys. Feels kind of strange playing as a little kid, but there's a little kid inside all of us. All right. Oh, is this a temple? This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Oh, 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 it's a subway. Kind of looks like a subway. Has those, like, maybe? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're over here looking around, we just fell down. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, you know, learning what happened to the metal world, as they call it now. Also, we, we, I want to know like, exactly what year we're in. Yeah, but it's definitely going to be interesting seeing, like, the history of the past of the metal world. Right, well, there doesn't seem to be anything else around here. Let's just keep on... Whoa, is that another rat? What the hell? All right, let's just keep going. <laughs> Too many rats around here. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Indeed we do. Adventure is out there, you know? We just gotta take risks. Maybe not as a little kid, but... Sometimes you just gotta explore, you know? Safely, of course. What is this place, anyways? I thought it was a... Some kind of, uh... Maybe, like, train station because of that tunnel-looking thing over there? But this is, like, a... I don't know what this is. Some kind of, med maybe, medical facility, or... I mean, it's been it's been destroyed for quite some time now. I mean, it's completely grown out. Oh goodness, more rats! What the fuck is up with rats? What is that? More bats? Oh yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Huh. All right. This place is pretty freaky. Pretty freaky. All right. Let's keep on moving here. What is that over there? Oh, this, look at that. It's all like nice in there. Interesting. I hope we're going that way. I'm pretty sure there's collectibles in this game. Don't know what, you know, in what form they come. But uh, I'm definitely excited to find out. <laughs> you guys already know how I like my collectibles. Alright, let's keep on moving. I wonder what Ross looks like uh, these days. Ross, not Ross. <laughs> it's not General Ross. Ooh. Ah! Get out of here, bats. Is she like crawling up if we go slowly? I think I think she was. Let me, let me see. That was, that was pretty cool animation. Oh, that's really cool. If you like push slowly on the left stick. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Rosterino. Please save me. something up ahead. Indeed. Quite here is. What is it? What's that? A dead person. Wait, no. I was going to say we came full circle, but this is not the thing that we saw. Is it? Oh. All right, we'll get you. That's not like a hard fall. Like a far fall there. I was like, what the hell? There's something shiny there. What the fuck? Whoa, this guy looks big. Like, real big. Also, he looks kind of conserved. Or preserved? Conserved. Preserved? 
All right, here we go. Inspect it. Oh, what is that? Some kind of Neuralink? She's adventurous, man. She is definitely <laughs> adventurous. I would, I would be pooping my pants if I was her age and finding a dead guy. Like, uh, I don't think so. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I wonder if this is a connection, maybe to the uh, to the metal world, you know, to the machines. The way we can maybe contain them. Awesome. How does he do this? All right, toggle the focus by pressing R three. Oh, nice! What the fudge? Well, the metal people, <laughs> the metal people, the metal world people. Definitely some so had some cool tech. It's like some Mass Effect stuff, you know? How they has like the the uh, the the sword thingy hand. I haven't played much Mass Effect actually. I haven't played any at all. I haven't watched some videos. I know what I'm talking about. So can we interact with these things, or is it just like holograms, or sort of like what are you, what they're you know what they're used to be here? Oh, we can toggle it with L three and R three. That was only R L three. Oh, okay, so we have to go this way. All right. I thought when we t when we went out of uh, this mode. These things went with it, but I guess it just keeps it here. Oh, there's one up there too. Can we go up there? Oh, we can jump. Oh, what? I didn't know we could jump. <laughs> I thought we were kind of stuck to just walking around. At least for now. Oh, in that case, can we jump up here? <laughs> we can. It's so it's so good, like kind of clunky jumping in this. Uh, in this form, this child form. A metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. Let's hope so. Use the device to scan the room. How do I get it open? More lights. This is very cool. This reminds me, I don't know what game has this mechanic. Is it Batman? How you can like see the cables around the room with the... Uh, I can't remember what vision that is they use in Batman in the Batman games. So we need to go back, right? Wasn't that the other room? Wait, what does it say? Reinforced Platinum Conductor. Oh, okay. A shape. It's connected to the door somehow. Okay, secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow. Okay. Let me check this. Reinforced planning conductor. Interesting. Oh, we can go this way, okay. I thought we had to go all the way back. Can I retrace our steps a little bit? Can we check these then? No. Alright. Just wondering. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool, like, just lights. We got one over there. We have one here. What does that say? Faro? Faro? Farito! Alright. Let's get the crack in here. How do we, uh. Oh, here we go. Turn hollow lock counterclockwise. Turn hollow clock clockwise. Can we do it while in this mode? No. Okay. So. Changed color. Oh, all right. I'm not sure if, if we just got lucky and got it the first round, or if it was just gonna happen anyways. I'll take it. I was gonna say I'm, I'm nervous now because I have to f figure out this thing without knowing much of anything. 
Hopefully it doesn't take me like 20 hours to do it. But no, we got it. The door changed color too. That's some numbers up top too. It did it. Ooh. Oh, the door had that same, like the, the red thing, the counter clockwise or clockwise thing. Interesting. A lot of cool lights in here, man. A lot of cool lights. Oh, can we use this? I thought we could maybe listen to something there, but I guess not. Okay, it's down here, actually. Alright. So very interesting. <laughs> very interesting take, sort of, of the future. Very interesting indeed. Let's see what we can find around here, guys. What's that? Good question. Oh, another dead guy? It's got a device. Like the one I found. What's up with all these devices, man? I think I want it this way. It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. Look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. No. That's a really interesting way to find uh, to find a little history about the uh, the world in the past. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. I already know I'm going to be looking for those a lot. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure um, Rust is going to be pretty angry at us. But here we go, guys. Still got to find a way out. Ooh, there's another door over here. How do we play this? There you go. Oh. Lock. Connor, chess, and press play to, to play the audio. Well, happy new year, dear diary. Can you believe we actually celebrated last night? <laughs> well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always sit watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Hmm, okay, so... I wonder if all this happened as... As, um, like the New Year, New Year was happening, maybe? You know, like it all went down at that time. There's an eye guy over here, too. Oh, well, a lot of exploration already. So I, maybe we could have heard the other audio log behind us, but I guess we should take it really close. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds, like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. What? Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipses. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anymore. Oh, what the fudge? What the hell? This is not something for a child. <laughs> Close your eyes. Come here. What, what was that thing from Deadpool? And he, when he takes off his underwear, he's like, um, 
Oh, I can't remember. I always, I always say it too. I've said it in other videos. I'm, it's like, um, oh, it's like, look away, child. Look away. <laughs> Jeez, that was a little gruesome. He also mentioned something about meds. Some lady passing out meds for the other people to like, kill themselves, I guess, sort of peacefully, if you would say. What the fudge? Alright, let's see if we can find any other logs or... I would imagine the only information you can find is probably audio based, so... We'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. I wonder if we can go back and try and listen out for the other one. Um... I'd actually kinda like to. I don't think we can go back though. Yeah, no, we can't go back. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I just thought we had to, you know, we could do it from far away, but you have to get really close. I'll just keep that in mind for, for future... Future audio audio locks. Well, that looks creepy in there. All right, let's keep on moving. Nothing over there. Oh, there's a big room. Why is there? How many? It's like four boxes. Yeah, four boxes up top on the map. Why did they die here? What happened to them? Good question. Log Connor Chasson. Let's see. I mean, seriously? Record our thoughts for posterity? Great idea, Director Evans. Like, I haven't done enough for posterity already. Like, I wouldn't be here like this if not for posterity. I'm done with posterity. Posterity can go... <laughs> oh, hey, calm down now. <laughs> Keep it PG. Posterity. I don't even know the meaning of that word. <laughs> I'm not fancy. I'm sorry, guys. Definitely I looked that up, though. Posterity. Pretty sure some of you guys will be like, oh my god, Sancho, you're so, like, uneducated. Yeah, that's probably true. Alright, let's check this out. Mia Sayed. If that doesn't give you the chills, I don't know what will. Mother of Pearl. Well, these guys have. I mean, what was this facility, though? It was definitely a, maybe a big corporation. Is there any other. There's another guy over there. So, oh, that's a. Wait, is that a guy? That looks like. Like, that's bigger than, <laughs> bigger than usual. Whoa, why are these guys so big? It's kind of funky how they're, how they're like, I, I mean, those things are not embedded into their heads, right? They're just, because we don't have ours embedded to our heads. It's just, like, yeah, see, we get the, the circle when we go into this mode. So I, I'm wondering why, like, how they're still operational, even after all these years. And pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. I mean, death. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a while. And oh, these meds Johnny gave us are really something. So, uh, okay, from the top, kids. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace. What the fudge? Oh, the medicine keeps coming out for some reason. You've yet to find out what that medicine is. I mean, it kills you, that's for sure. Did we already check that out? I don't think we have. Ella Pontes. And maybe that's all I need, you know? That moment the door opened and you were standing there wearing that retro weave dress and the way you smile. I had to look away, are you gonna see? On my face, what had just blossomed inside me, you know? It was just an instant, but I knew. I knew we'd be forever. Aww. <laughs> Why you gotta make me feel so soon, game? 
You know, another game that does this really well is obviously Fallout. At least, you know, from like the, uh, the well, they don't have audio logs. Well, now they do. Yeah, they do. They have the holotapes. But um, they also have the, the uh, uh, terminals. And this is really well done, like, you know, kind of telling more story through through audio locks and all that kind of stuff. Especially the voice, you know, the, like the voice acting and the audio locks is actually really well done so far, so I really like that. I think, the, you know, these little kind of like side mini stories are just as important as a main story to kind of tell you more about, you know, what's going on around you. So I really like that. Alright, so have you already listened to this one? I think so, because it won't let me listen to it. Oh no, wait. Machu Picchu. Oh no, we haven't. Okay. Always wanted to see that. Never did. Why didn't I go with Owen when he asked? Stupid. Should have gone. Well. No. Jeez. Sad central here. <laughs> Sadness central, just. No bueno, guys. No bueno. A lot of memories, a lot of sadness. Alright, well, here we go. Oh! Rosarino! Ross found me! Ross found me! Down here! I'm coming! Rosarino! Big Papa save me, por favor! Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, mother be praised. Come, girl. Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come. Uh, uh, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. Oh, don't. don't. What is that on your face? Nothing. Aww. <laughs> Did you find it down there? No. <laughs> Give it to me. No. No. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! Come on, Rosalina, don't, don't be that guy. <sighs> oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. Hey! Thanks, buddy. Papa? Can I call you Papa? <laughs> Sounds kind of creepy coming from me. Papacito. Ooh, a bow and arrow. I like it. Oh. Oh, we can only see it. That's interesting. I'll be shaking. What do they mean? <laughs> Take your bow. Oh, that's really cool. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. <laughs> we descend to the valley now. Follow. Alright. So it is kind of connected to our brain, in a way. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. Ooh. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. All right. Gather a medicinal South Brush. Aloy, come now. Gather the berries. Good. Now eat the berries. Ooh, all right. <laughs> they may taste bitter. But they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of all mother's embrace. Embrace. The Nora <laughs> tribe watches these lands. 
and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna follow your teachings. Let me get these. Uh, what is this? Berries, plants, a little flowerina. Ooh. Sixteen health added to the medicine pouch. Oh, I like that. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. All right, sounds coochie. Yeah, just look at this. Oh, look at this view, guys. Just look at the views. <laughs> They're so good. I'm getting kind of like uh, vibes from the trailer of God of War 4, I believe. I don't know why. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. Well, all right, I got you. I'm not sure if we can change controls to use circles, crunch, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll get used to it, hopefully. <laughs> there. Now stay low. They don't want. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. I keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. All right, I'm not coming. Oh, another one. Let it pass. Where? Oh. Ooh. Those are funky Come, creatures. Back this way. All right. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Alright. I hear you. Wait for it. <laughs> That's the last of them. Let's move on. Back to the upright. Oh, not that button. <laughs> Wrong button. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll learning in due time. What is that? Oh, I thought it was a monkey. <laughs> Who's that? Monkey Man. Ignore him. But why is he up there? He's smiling at us. Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. <laughs> then he is a fool. Come now. Let's huh. find that herd. Follow. So, why is Ross an outcast? Big Mama told us that he was an outcast by choice, but why? Also, why are you calling him a fool if you're also an outcast? <laughs> so many questions. So, Ross is still the homie, though, so I, I respect him. He's the G. The G dog, the homie dog. Ooh, are those more beasts over there? The hell? Hopefully they're friendly. Don't look friendly. There. See them? These are called striders. Indeed. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Alrighty. Sounds like Gucci. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. <laughs> I will show right. you how to use them. Good. That's it. Those will do. Follow. Alright. 
The marks around the show how much sound you are making. Oh, okay. Alright, interesting. I wonder if we collect more rocks if we get anything, you know? We're overachievers. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, what is this cool looking altar? I don't know. Alright, big papa, wait up for me! I'm coming, I'm coming. Yo, we are fast. Look at us. Look at us go. Aloy, over oh. here. Oh, I see you. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, stop right. wasting time. I'm coming. I don't want to. I was gonna run, but it's a lot of noise. There's the herd. All right, it's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps, like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with. Or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Alright, I got you. Alright. Actually, guys. We're gonna pause the game here. <laughs> because we're gonna end the episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please go ahead and spank the like button. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you guys are playing this game. If you guys aren't, what do you guys think? Are you guys enjoying it so far? If you guys want to check out a more delicious Horizon Zero Dawn, check out the Horizon Zero Dawn playlist and reviews on the channel. All links to those things will be in the description at the end of the video and also a little icon for your movies. It's a very delicious, tasting, very hunting kind of day.